Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be upgrading the RAM in this mid-2012 unibody non-retina MacBook Pro from 4GB to 8GB of RAM. Now this process will work on all MacBook Pro models from 2008 to 2012 if they're non-retina and it's a really simple process. Now, all that you'll be needing for today's repair is a PH00 screwdriver for unscrewing the bottom case um, of the MacBook Pro, and you'll also need the RAM that you're going to be upgrading this computer with. So, and I recommend a modular screwdriver for these repairs uh, so that you can easily swap out different screwdriver bits uh, it makes it easy for multiple repairs so that you've got many screwdrivers to use. So we'll uh, move this RAM to the side for now. And then I'll turn this MacBook upside down. And we'll have a look at the bottom case. So we'll need to unscrew the 10 screws at the bottom. And as I mentioned before, these are PH00 Phillips head screws. So you'll need... Um, that screwdriver for this. So the three top screws up here are longer than the rest so make sure that you categorize them separately and I do recommend that you store your screws in a easy to um, locate and store location so that um, you don't lose them because these are very small screws that you're dealing with here and you don't want to lose any of them. And as you can see, that's the size of the screw. So it is very tiny that you're dealing with here. So I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait and I'll come back when these are unscrewed. So now I'm just unscrewing the Three top screws and as you can see this is the longer um, type of the screw so make sure you keep that separate from the rest so that you don't risk screwing in the wrong screw to the wrong location when you're reassembling it. So I'll just finish off these two last screws. Okay so now we've unscrewed all of the screws on the bottom case assembly so now we can just lift it up and then put that to one side for now. So now we've got a look at the inside of the computer. Uh, we've got the solid state drive, the DVD drive, although this one swapped out to be a dual hard drive um, in a little caddy I bought from eBay. But today we're going to be focusing on the RAM. We've also got the battery here and before we start any work on the inside of this computer, it is important to take off the battery connector um, so that there is no live connections to the board and you don't risk breaking anything inside the computer. Okay, so now that the battery connection is removed, we can focus our attention on upgrading the RAM. So before we start, you'll want to make sure that you do have the same size RAM. So these MacBooks accept DDR3 RAM and you'll also wanna check the speed of the RAM before you begin. So this is the particular RAM I'm going to be using for this upgrade. So that will give you an idea of what you can do. It's two four gigabyte sticks, so that will make it eight gigabytes of RAM. So now we need to remove the old RAM. So there's two little plastic um, levers on the, each side of the RAM. So you just pull those to the side each, and then the RAM will slot up like that. And then you can just wiggle it out of place and then put it to the side. Now you do the same process for the bottom one. So just move the two plastic levers to the side. It will come up a little bit and then you can just move it out of place. Sometimes the bottom one can be a little bit more fiddly, um, but just wiggle it until it comes out. Now um, you can get your new RAM and then make sure that you can see that the um, 
the connections line up with how it is on the board. So there's a little gap and it's quite clear to see on the board when you're upgrading. So make sure that you don't try to force it in the wrong way. So now you just slot it in like so, and then just push it down until you hear a little click like that. Do the same process for the top, slot it in, and then push it in as far as possible, and then push it down and let it click. So now you, that's the RAM installed, and then you can just push the battery connection back in to the machine, so it'll have power again. And that is the upgrade completed. Now, I recommend just temporarily putting the bottom case back onto the machine um, and then giving it a little test run before you screw it all back together because sometimes if RAM isn't installed correctly, the machine just will, will not boot up at all. So it could just be that you haven't pushed it in all the way or that there's a bad connection there. So I'd recommend that you just boot it up and make sure that it turns on before you put all the 10 screws back in so that if there's a problem, you don't have to unscrew everything again and start all over. So once you've tested your computer, we can go back with our PH00 screwdriver bit and screw in all of the necessary 10 screws for the back. So remember that the three longer screws go in the three top slots. So you can put those in and screw them in to start with so that you don't mix them up. Because if you try to force a screw into the wrong spot, it could really damage the internals of the computer. So I'll speed this up for you so that you don't have to wait for me to screw all these in. And then I'll come back when this is finished. All right, so that is the last screw screwed into the bottom of this computer. So now we can flip it over once again. So that's all there is to upgrading the RAM in your MacBook Pro non-Retina unibody models. Let me know if you'd like to see any more upgrades to this computer or other computers. And if you enjoyed the video down in the comments below, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.